Hi, I'm Jeremy, and I'm your host of Tell Me Wine TV, where we try to answer your questions about wine right here on the internet. I'm trying to make this a funny show because we just got a comment from somebody I don't know who who says my last one of my last shows wasn't very funny. In fact, was 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 informative but perhaps boring. So I'm going to do my best to appeal to this person and, and show them that I can do a show that's a little bit more alive. I thought I don't know. I mean, maybe because. Uh, they don't have a sense of humor. But anyway, today's show is about uh, sparkling wine. And just a basic primer on sparkling wine, how it's made, and some of the types of sparkling wine that you can encounter. Uh, today's question was sent in from Carol from uh, Williamsburg, who asked, tell me about sparkling wine. So, uh, sparkling wine is, as would the name convey is a wine that has uh, naturally or artificially occurring carbon dioxide in it. And the most famous of all sparkling wines is of course Champagne. And Champagne is uh, made in a part of France called Champagne. Um, it is by far the uh, most expensive and most sought after sparkling wine in the world. But by no means um, is it the only sparkling wine in the world. Uh, I would suggest that, um, am I exciting enough for you, whoever you are? Uh, I would suggest that sparkling wine is probably made in every single wine producing country in the world. Um, uh, wherever you have grapes and people fancy sparkling wines, it is probably produced. Um, sparkling wine is made across France, not only in Champagne, but in, in every corner of, of that country. Um, I think in that case it's called Cremant. Uh, so Cremant de Loire, Cremant de Bordeaux, Cremant de Provence, etc. Uh, Cremant de Burgundy. Um, and, and each country has its own famous uh, sparkling wine. Um, in Italy it's Prosecco and Lambrusco. In Spain, it of course is cava. Um, uh, even in Australia, they make a sparkling wine from Shiraz, which is red and um, and a little bit sweet. Um, so uh, Germany, they make sparkling wine. I think they call it sect. Um, and so 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 people say they want a glass of champagne, and they don't always want a glass of champagne because champagne is very expensive. And I think uh, sparkling wine is festive, and it's fun. And you don't have to uh, spend the money on champagne, uh, uh, as, as the people at Champagne would hope you would do. Um, the way it's made is wine uh, is made through a fermentation process. And sugar and yeast interact to create alcohol. Um, with champagne, there's something called a secondary fermentation process, where after the wine has been fermented, uh, the second fermentation process, where the winemaker adds sugar and yeast, additional sugar and yeast, to the wine itself. And it's the yeast consuming the sugar that makes the carbon dioxide. We, we talk about the, the various methods of making the champagne itself, but that's called the traditional method, or I think sometimes called uh, method champenois. Um, there are different levels of uh, dryness in, in, in Champagne. Um, there are uh, the Brut, which is dry, um, Extra Brut, which I believe is actually not as dry, and uh, of course there's Rosé, which is sometimes made by blending uh, red wine with, with white Champagne. So. Um, I guess it wasn't the most uh, entertaining show, but it was hopefully informative. And and as you can see, we're just going to open a bottle of uh, this is a, a rosé made from Pinot Noir, and it's Italian. And as you'll see, um, all champagnes or sparkling wines, I'm going to just remove the foil, um, have a what's called a cage on the top of the cork. And this is obviously to keep the cork from blowing out of the bottle. Uh, you need to remove the cage very carefully because you don't know what's happened between, you know, for all I know, our cameraman, Carol, who's funny, has shaken this bottle vigorously <laughs> before giving it. She's laughing now. 
and uh, so I'm very concerned that this is just going to blow its top. Um, it's very dangerous. You could take an eye out, you could probably kill somebody with a champagne cork, uh, and I could kill Carol right now, uh, but I won't. Uh, but it, the idea is that you twist the bottle, not the cork, grasp the cork firmly, and just twist the bottle, twist, and you just want to let the air and the cork is starting to push out, and you just, oop, you can see the carbon dioxide in the top of the bottle. Beautiful. And that's it, sparkling water. Carol. Nice one. Thank you. Elliot. Thank you. <laughs> Have you tried this before? This is a hurt. The Ombra. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a rosé made from Pinot Noir. Uh, thus, the skins were uh, probably stayed in contact with the juice. And um, cheers. So thanks, Carol, for sending that question into Tell Me Wine TV. And, Keep sending you questions in too. Tell me why, TV. <laughs> <laughs>